Hello everybody. Today, as you can see by the title I'm sure, we're going to be trying a homemade fish fillet and fries. Right, because uh, I was thinking today, you know, I haven't had a fish fillet, I haven't been to McDonald's in a long time actually. And normally my favourite burger is, um, you know, I usually buy a Big Mac and a fillet. And, but I didn't want to spend the money on a bus just to go up the city centre and get a fish burger. So I thought, you know, what I'll do, I'll have a go at making my own. I can make a Kentucky Fried Chicken burger easy enough and um, at a quarter of the price. So I went to the co-op, got some buns. Got these in fact. These are Warburton's. <clears throat> These are Warburton's buns. They're 95 99p for four. They do packs of eight as well for about a pound and a half, just under, I think. But I uh, only got four because uh, I mean they actually look like the fish fillet buns. Actually, you know they, they look very similar. So um, I'm going to use two today, and then I'm going to dream up something else to use up for the other two. And of course, I've got fries as well. Now the I'm going to show you real quick because it's pretty much done. Okay, there's the there's the Iceland fish burgers. There's uh, fish fish uh, fillets fillets cod fillets. Jesus, right, right. There's six of them. Anyway, that's the box. I can't tell you the price because I don't know, but uh, that's what they look like. So what I've done, I've cut this in half to make two fillets. Because, I mean, the, the buns are actually quite small, and uh, what I've done, for £1.75, I went to the co-op and I bought the Frozen American Fries. Thin cut, seasoned potato chips cooked in sunflower oil. There we go. So that's what the close-up of that. There you go. £1.75, and it's a 750 gram bag. Okay, so you can figure out how many portions of chips you can get out of that. Okay, there we go. Now that's the fish and the fries. That's that fish I just showed you. I've actually cut it in half because otherwise it'll, um, you know, that's roughly the size of the, the bread roll it's going to go into. Okay, so now, oh. What I've done, I've cut the, the, the funny thing is the buns don't come in, they don't come already cut. You've got to cut them open yourself, which is a bummer. Anyway, so you've got your bottom half. On the lids, I've put the tartar sauce. You may remember this tartar sauce I put in one of my wraps. Uh, I think it was a, a, a piece of fish and fish and chips, perhaps, I think, in a wrap. And I use this tartar sauce. It's 69p from the co-op. There you go. For a 180 gram jar. Okay, anyway, so I've put that on the on the top half of the... Oh, top half of the, the, the bun there. And... Two pieces of cheese, which you may remember when I made, if you type in Mark's Remarks, KFC Double Down Burger, I made my own Kentucky Burger, the new Double Down, and I used this cheese. It's the cheese from the Tesco, 10 slices for a pound five. So, let's see, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll put the, well, I'm going to put a piece of fish on each of the buns, there we go, and then one piece of cheese on top of the, on top of the fish, there you go, just like McDonald's do. <clears throat> now this, uh, the, the difference is, I think McDonald's used the fried fish, whereas I, I put this in the convection oven. Okay, anyway, so the top half has got is the, is the bit with the um, tartar sauce, so that's going to go on the top, like that. The, the fries, throw over there. <clears throat> so, <laughs> 
Okay then, so we've got two fish fillets. We've got fries at 175 a bag from the co-op. They're American fries. We've got chips, so it's actually a big, it's a, a fish fillet meal. Fish fillet fries and a drink. I can't remember what the fish cost. The cheese is one pound ten for ten, one pound five for ten slices. Chips at one seventy five a bag. The drink at sixty five p a two liter. Uh, sixty five p, which is half the money and twice three four times the volume. If you went to McDonald's and bought their drinks, okay. So there you have it. Two fish fillets. I'm going to eat these while they're still hot. Anyway, there's two fillets. We've got uh, some fries. Wait. They're actually not bad. They're, um... Yeah, pretty good. I'll put a bit of, um... I'll put a bit of vinegar on them, I think. Just for flavour. A bit of salt. Just getting all jammed up. Then a little bit of salt. Means I've got rice in. I've got rice in here to keep the salt from jamming up, but um, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so we've got the chips. The chips actually taste quite good. Considering they're uh, you know, shop brand. And they are like fries, they're very thin, they're not like the thick ones. Anyway, okay, let's go with the uh let's go with the fillet. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I think if the bread was slightly toasted, it would be. Although I, I don't know whether but I don't know whether McDonald's do. But um, yeah, I think this bread needs to be toasted. Hmm. The fish. The fish has got uh, what was it breadcrumb. It has a crunchy, a crunchy texture. It's very good. I mean, don't get me wrong, given the choice of the two, I'd eat the McDonald's one because that is like really good. But this is a very good substitute. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not tasting the cheese, but then that tastes really good when it's melted anyway. But but no, this is um this is a very good substitute, it's a very good meal. It's uh, very, very cheap. You know, you just get like a box of six um, chicken fillets or a fish fillets. One fillet, one, uh, one Iceland fish fillet will make two of these because you cut it in half because the buns are quite small. Mm. You know. McDonald's ones have the edge, of course. There's no way these win a competition against McDonald's um, fish fillets. But if you don't fancy spending, like in my case, you know, four quid to get up the city centre and back, then spend 20 minutes in the bloody queue just to have a couple of fillets and then come home again. Then uh, make them at home and, you know, this is very good. Hmm. And it shows it can be done. I mean, it, this isn't... This isn't as identical as the Kentucky burger that I made. I mean, it pretty much it tasted exactly the same. This does taste different, but it's perfectly fine. Hmm. You got good wholesome fish. It doesn't taste bad at all. A fraction of the cost. Make it at home, and um, yeah. If you've got young'uns, tell them it's from McDonald's. What do they know? Yeah. But, they, you know, homemade fish fillet. 
I'm trying to think what else in McDonald's I can make. I've already, uh, I've already had done the, I've done the chicken nugget challenge. Have a look at that. Mark's remarks nugget challenge. Um, I've done some beef burgers, but they're not like anything like McDonald's. Yeah, but anyway, which is quite good. The uh, the um, soy sort the. Uh, Tartar sauce does taste different than the McDonald's one. Yeah, this one just tastes a little bit sharper. But, uh, I mean, it looks, it looks the part. Look at that. It's very, you know, the cheese hasn't melted. But, uh, let's see, get that in focus. But yeah, nothing wrong with this at all. Mm. Two of these and some chips. There's your dinner right there. You go to McDonald's, you go to McDonald's, you go to McDonald's. What's that? You pay, uh, I don't know, you, you probably don't get much change out of six quid plus, you know, for, for uh, two fillets, chips and a drink. Anyway, there you go. Oh, this is a long video. Okay, so there you go. You just make it at home. Get some Warburton's rolls that are, are very soft. They're small, they're soft. Get any brand of... Um, any brand of cheap ass fish out the frozen section. You can buy them in fours or sixes for just a few pounds at you know most freezer places. Um, a slice of cheese. The tartar the tartar sauce is optional. You could even put uh, I don't know whatever your favourite sauce is burger relish anything you like you know who's who's to say otherwise. And um, and away you go. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching and uh, bye bye.